Hello there everyone, this is I am Mark 3 and welcome back to Dead Space, the deadest of space, Dead Space 1, where I am sad to inform everyone that apparently I will not be escaping from this ship anytime soon. I have seriously never noticed this, but if you look, scrolling here, it is saying very firmly, all flights cancelled. Feels like this is an airport and all the everything's going wrong. So, yeah, there's no flights actually scheduled to depart. All flights are cancelled, which can only be good for me. Anyway, let's continue. End of last time, we were critically low on ammunition. No spare stasis packs. Some health, so we can actually take a few knocks before we heal over. But our ability to actually deal out death is somewhat limited at the moment. Ooh, more ammo. What does that give us now? I can kill potentially five Necromorphs with what I've got now. Excellent. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Hello. Oh. No, go away. Yeah, take that. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, if they're being noisy when you hit them with stasis, it does some weird things sometimes. <laughs> because it, it slows down the sounds they're making as well. So that thing was like screaming at me the entire time I stamped its arm off. <laughs> but anyway, let, let's go ahead and get this done because the diagnostic is what's required now. We have to see how much repair work this... Our fine, not at all damaged or broken craft is going to require. It's just, a, it's just a scratch. Slap, slap a new coat of paint on, it'll be fine. Of that I have no doubt. Uh, oh well, okay. Load the damage report. Yes, please. Oop, hello. Nope. Maybe two coats of paint. Oop. Ah, I'm on fire. Where? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. I'm going, I'm going. I'm burning. Stop it. Ah! Right, maybe three coats of paint. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna take some work. Also, enemies. Yeah, it, it gets harder at this, but you see, at this range, because of the arc cap. Yeah, I, I see you there. Oh, and all oh, this more guys. I see you there as well. No, no. Yeah, okay, you're dead. You're still coming. Who are you? Oh, hello. There we go, you're down. <laughs> what the hell is happening down there? What happened to the shuttle? Those are at home. It's the only way off the ship. Kendra. No, Hammond! You'll be fine. It changes everything! Just let me think. Can you access the command computer? It's no good. There's an executive lockdown of all primary systems. Without the captain's authorization, I can't access them. Well, where's the captain? Here he is. Captain Benjamin Mathias. Location? Med lab. Status? Deceased. What? How? I can't access that information. Find the captain and you'll find his rig. With his authorization codes, I can crack this computer wide open. Damn it. Isaac, I'm sending the tram back to your location. Get to the medical deck and find that rig as fast as you can. What was that? Oh. 
Oh no, you guys actually have to fight. What a shame. Thank you for sending the tram back, by the way. But yeah, I think that's more than a paint job now, at this point. So, yes, more ammo, good. I'd like to know, by the way, I ended that fight with one shot remaining uh, in terms of ammunition. So I burned through it all trying to deal with that. Oh, th this game is good, good at that, especially on the high difficulty. It's like, you're in serious trouble trying to keep your resources going. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to phrase it. Okay. Well, that was entertaining. Let's go ahead and keep going. Because we still don't know where our other fellow went. Considering the fact we were running for our life the last time we saw him. So, right. Though the body of the other one is gone as well, of course. Yep, blood. Blood, blood, blood. A couple of containers. All right. Ammo. And... Ammo. I think the game's taking pity on me a bit. <laughs> Probably not going to last, though. Ah, rest rooms. And... I keep hearing these weird noises. Yep. I keep hearing weird noises as well. There is, however, a large med kit. Tasty. Now, let's check the female side, of course, because we <coughs> can't leave any corner unstoned. We've got to try and find as much as we can. So, look at that. I think that's a waste bin on a spaceship design, because it's like, it's a receptacle, but then it goes down into some pipe work. Wait, wait what does that say? Wash hands before returning to work. If they've, if they've got to have a sign-up about it, that must mean that um, it wasn't happening. Either that or it's just like, um, corporate must have a sign that says this, that and the other. Okay. Is this the way I'm meant to go? Yes, yes it is. Right. The lift. I'm watching you, door. <laughs> to sum up, our flight is very cancelled. Our ship is very, very crispy. And the enemies are kind of being nasty. Okay. Oh, good. Are we here? And I think that pretty much conducts, concludes the uh, tutorial now, actually, because we've got um, to the end. We've got our first store. Um, oh, there's a bench over there as well. Let's see if there's anything to loot in here. No. Standard of any game, trying to loot stuff. So, the store. All those credits I've been gathering. I can spend them here on internal credits system. I can also use the store to um, buy new stuff. I'm probably going to buy some ammo. But I can also use it to stash a bunch of stuff as well. Which I can access from any other store. So, okay, let's go ahead and access the interface. Da, da, da. What have we got? We have got a plasma cutter. We could buy new weaponry. There's a line gun and a pulse rifle available. Line gun is a much a bigger version of the plasma cutter. But it's only horizontal on its cuts. And it's also got a secondary fire of timed mines. Pulse rifle is actually a military weapon. It's a military grade assault rifle with a very high rate of fire, and it does a pulse around it. I can upgrade my suit, which gives me more inventory slots, and increases my armor, which is very tempting. I can also buy more ammo. Again, very tempting. Small med pack. Uh, I think I'm okay. Small air can. Don't need it. Stasis pack. I'm out, but maybe. And a power node. So I can buy power nodes here, but they are pretty pricey. 10,000 apiece. So, you know, that's not good. Okay, that's what I've got in here. I've got uh, a large, two meds, and a single small. And I don't have anything in my safe. So yeah, I can just stash stuff in the safe and come back for it later. <sighs> I've got 21 plasma energy available. I'm not happy with that amount. I can buy a single plasma energy. There we go. 
and I'm actually going to get a power node. And a, a think, I think I'll get a better suit. Since it means I can carry more, and it also means I can, I take less damage when I get inevitably hit. And yeah, there's a little fitting room at the back of the kiosk, so here we go. Just watch him. See, it, it latches onto his back and pulls him in. So Isaac is trapped in there now. And then it welds him shut. Or something. There we go. Right. Da 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 da! Level 2 suit. We've, we had um, a much more closed visor on our head now. And we also got metal ribbing along our arms. And that's left 100 credits total. But yeah, the, the, look, so that's one of the um, nice little features of Dead Space. The armor is a bit odd, but this ribbing is actually how your armor upgrades for the most part. It's like you get more metal to protect yourself, but you don't su you're not suddenly wearing plate mail or something. Anyway, I got a power node. Just check the bench. And still got just my plasma cutter as my weapon. I could get some boosts. Like, I could get a reload boost. Which takes a quarter second off my reload speed. I'm not really feeling like I need to do that right now. Can't get HP. Can't get stasis. Right, I'll leave it as it is. I would like to note, though, that I know to keep at least one power node on me at all times. And that's because there is, ac there is actually um, some doors and things that are locked later on that you can't open unless you've got a spare note. So it's not just for upgrading. It also gives you access to loop caches a bit later in as well. But yeah, that was chapter one. We have arrived. Save my progress. Yep. Okay. So. Chapter two, intensive care. We are heading to the medical facility to retrieve the captain's rig so that we can gain access to the Ishimura's primary computer. Shh. Shh. It's alright, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, um. I saved this. I don't think McCoy is going to take you to the shuttle, I'm afraid. But uh, she was blind. That much is obvious. So she couldn't see that um, McCoy is very dead to the point that there's maggots feasting on him. So he's been, he's been like that for a long time. But she's somehow survived. I think she just didn't get the attention of anything. It's also like... So yeah, welcome to the medical deck. Uh, the first thing you want to see when coming to the medical deck is bloodstained walls, an insane person who dies in front of you, dismembered corpse, and bloodstained body bags. This all seems very unsanitary. However, she gave me a kinesis module. Which straps onto my left side. Okay, this gives us, um, this is very important. We can, it helps us to advance. It also gives us options in combat because it's um, aim at something and then we can grab and throw. Yeah, that, that's the important part, throw. So I can lock on, so this is the tutorial. I can grab that. It's like, whee, look at me. I can move things with my mind, except it's not, it's technology. If I let go, it just drops. But, I think if I left click... Yep, there we go. So, grab it. Move it. Oop, glitch it through a doorway. <laughs> then... I can 
throw it at something. So yeah, very handy. Is there anything down? Oh, oh, small med kit. Good. I can hear flies. <laughs> yeah, very sanitary, all this. Uh, okay, let's check the store really quick. See if there's anything new in here. Uh, da, da, da. Update the store, thank you. No, no new items. Okay. Fine. But yeah. It gives us more options in fighting in, rather than just like shoot them or get the. Shoot, either shoot them or try to flail on them. Oh, flame top. I thought we were done with the tutorial, but apparently I forgot that there's still a little bit in this area. So, right. We picked up a flamethrower schematic. It is actually in our inventory, so it's taken an inventory slot. We got three new slots, by the way, when we upgraded the armor. And if I go to a store, it'll add the schematic to the store. So, there we go. New schematic, flamethrower. 11,000 to buy. It's actually a hydrazine industrial torch. But it's a very powerful area. Well, it's not actually... It actually, it's really weak as hell. Um, but it's an AoE weapon. Which can engulf entire areas in flames. I, I, the secondary is either ignite a patch of ground or fire bomb. I'm not sure which. But one of those two. Still, that's... Either. Are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. Communication is useless in all this static. Nice to see you too. <laughs> yes, I'm surviving, by the way. Thanks for that. Uh, evacuate this area immediately. The... Uh, oh, that doesn't look safe. And this area got... Okay, so I need to go this way to get... Um, need a thermite bomb. It's also nice how it's like showing the holograph like, you need to put the thing here, you idiots. I'd like, I'd like to also note something here. You see this barricade? The way it's braced on this side implies it was built to keep something in. Which is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Also credits. Okay. Uh, a box. This entire area is very unsanitary. Um... Zero out of five stars for the um, the staff. I, ca I can't mess with the life support either, apparently. But yeah, they, they've really not kept this place clean. Not at all. I know that there's some kind of alien outbreak or something, but that's no excuse. No excuse at all. Okay, let's check my map. <laughs> while, while I'm blathering on insanely. Let's see. Okay, so. I think this is also our first example of two active goals at once. We can head straight ahead to get the thermite. Or we can go the other way, which is oops, wrong key. That one. Or we can go this way to go and get the shock pads from Zero G Therapy. We have to do both of those and then we can go with our next objective. So I note I'd like to note there are oxygen stations through that door as well. I can see them on there, so that doesn't do too well. Let's go ahead and go after the shock pads from Zero G first. That sounds reasonable. So here we go. Um, no, that's the tram station. I want to go this way. Oops. So imaging and diagnosis wing. Have lab referral forms already. Full of paperwork. Welcome to the lab. If you've been referred to the lab, please have your referral form and CEC authorization ready, then proceed to the lab office. Thank you, lab staff. And there's a lady. That reminds me a bit of a nun, her headpiece, I'm not sure why. And she's holding what looks like a very large pill. 
Okay. Also, there's thumping, and the lights just went out. Oh, excellent. Oop. Damn it. <laughs> and there's someone there. Someone covered in blood. Yeah, that 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 doesn't look healthy at all. Oh, is it, oh, look at his left arm. He is messed up, and he's not very happy at all. Oop. Ah. I'll take this ammo and the stasis charge. Thank you. But. Yeah, I think we can see why this guy was trying to brain himself. He is very much not in good condition. Yeah. Oh, the stasis is back up. That was that one. I, I heard a little beep from behind me. I was like, what was that? Oh, it's the stasis. Which is diagnostic. Uh... Right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Got text on them. So, look, see, we, what we've got? We've got uh, psychiatric observation. Asleep. After sedative. Unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking. Regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not. Oh, that. Mm. So, this guy is staying awake beyond physical norms. Um, paranoia spreading. Seeing. Planet side, he's his guilt is not in doubt. Two planet side security officers were present when he took Doctor um, the Doctor hostage and murdered Nurse Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. So classic sociopathic behaviour. But Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to synthesise and offer original opinions. When questions about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and, tr and intransi intransigent displaying schizophrenic behaviour. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the Doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Well, I know that's really bad, but, you know. <laughs> Basically, Guy went nuts down, down on the planet, and took a doctor hostage and then killed a nurse. So, and basically, he's, he's going nuts. But this is what I was mentioning back at the bench. This is a power lock. I need a power node to override it. So, there we go. That's cost me a power node, but it's opened this door. So now I can quite safely wander inside and see what goodies I get. Is it safe? No. Nope, nope, this is not safe at all. But there are a few things lying around. Let's check the lockers first. What have we got? We've got a thousand credits. Okay. We've got a large med pack, which is pretty valuable in and of itself, so that is pretty good. We've got a audio lock, which I'll grab last. And we've got a gold semiconductor, which, if I recall is not any good in and of itself, but it can be sold. Yeah, sell at the store for credits. So, I spent a £10,000 to get in here. I got 1,000 credits, plus a large med kit, plus a gold semiconductor, and an audio log for my trouble. So, yeah, I think I'm net positive there. The med kit is uh, fairly expensive. It's a big one, after all, the largest you can get. The semiconductor, I forget how much they sell for, though. Anyway, audio lock. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He, of all people, should know that this is greater than me, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. 
But I believe. Do you believe, Terence? Do you? I believe. Bring me to the prophesied salvation. I believe. Anyway, right. Um, I mentioned Kinesis can solve bubbles. Um, if you can move something with Kinesis, it's got this mark on it. Um, this is imaging, so this body is being analysed or something other, but it's like it's very, very big, very fancy. Let's move this out of the way, though. Notice also that it slides over there. So it goes a long way. That's because there is a bit more to this puzzle than that. But it's just like you got need it to you need to move it around through the imaging. No. No no. 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 Ow. No no no. Go away. There we go. Down, down, boy. Hammer. Just like slight knock there, but... That. Oh, oh, you're still alive. Okay. Yeah, I see you. Loving stalkers. That wasn't too bad. Uh, we can't go to the research lab. Well, we can get some ammo. Which is always good. We've got another door, and we've got a power node. Which is this thing here. Basically, this is a, like a, a battery. So, we need, we need to kinesis it. I could have thrown... If I'd moved forward, I could have grabbed this and thrown it at them, but I didn't. Actually, I could have cut the tails off and thrown that. Okay. So, that's it. That's providing power to the lift. But I'm going to use the door first, because, you know, we need to find out what's going on. And we need to collect precious resources. Oh. Hello. And he's dead. Oh, it's it's time. Okay. There is a power node here, though. So I'll take that gladly. Thank you. Oh, oh, jeez. Plumbing thing. About to wear off, so get clear. Oh. I tried to be clever. I failed. Very much so. Okay, pieces, pieces, pieces. Grab that. Thank you. And click. Go away. <laughs> uh, five ammo. I. That feels like I was playing around a lot, but that is actually still better than I've been doing of late. <laughs> so another thousand two hundred credits. Right. So what I was doing there was, I was using kinesis. Ooh, pulse round schematic. Okay, that's for the uh, military weapon, by the way, and some ammo. I would use Kinesis to pick up the claw that I severed this off this guy, and I fired it back at him to attack with it. So that's what I meant by it gives you some more options. So I can grab this, and it becomes a weapon! Your weaponry is now my weaponry. Foolish that. Unfortunately I pressed F again, trying to throw it. So I dropped it, and that's why I went running around in a panic when it's left click. Point that. So yeah. <laughs> but I can do it with um, the body. Oh, right. Um. Yep. I think. Um, yep. Sever the tail. Can I grab that? No, that's a leg. Apparently. Uh, there, there it is. The, the spike, the, the, the bar from the end of the tail. I've got myself a little dingly dangly thing which I can just like throw, throw things. <laughs> it's not orienting because there's no target, but it does actually aim stuff like that point first. I'd just like to note that. Let's check the map. Is 
there a save point up there? There is. Okay. Right. Because we are about out of time for this episode. So, when I get up there, I will be able to save. So, let's go up the cargo lift. Just check my inventory really quick. Plenty of ammo. I'm actually good for ammo right now. That means it can only go downhill from here. But yeah. As you can see. Ooh. Yep, going downhill. Okay. Hello. What's the other one? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, that's something else. Ooh. No. No. That did not go well at all. Yeah, the moment you get cocky, it gets worse. Oh. Still, the ammo's welcome, I suppose. I was trying to do the trick, but I failed a bit. Well, a lot. Oh, there's a, there's a stasis charge up here as well. That's that's good. You know, I just used a bunch of stasis. Also, there's one of those um, locked doors with power surging through it. That wasn't too bad, though. Anyway, um, I need to go around here get this thing moving again. Just pull the guy below me around like my plaything, because basically he is at this point. So, I need to go through here to get to the zero-g therapy area, but I also need to call it here because half hour-ish. Slightly over. Still, this has been I Am Mark III. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the show and this trip around the deadest of spaces in Dead Space. Look at all that. That's like, it's like this thing is meant to like get screwed into there or something. Is that the actual scanner? Might be. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all some other time. See you all later. Nurse, I think the problem is this guy is missing half a head. Me, I'm brilliant Dr. Scientist, man. <laughs>